Trillions in damages could have been avoided with only billions in preparation. Rewind your clocks, it's September 2019. There's a new report out on pandemics from the World Bank and the World Health Organization. It says, few natural hazards threaten more loss of life, economic disruption, and social disorder than large-scale disease outbreaks. It adds that the world isn't investing in planning for pandemics, and preparedness would be cost-effective. The report should have raised alarms. For as little as $3 billion invested each year in better health infrastructure and outbreak monitoring, the world could have potentially avoided a pandemic. Now, fast forward to today. The OECD projects that the world lost more than $3 trillion in economic output last year, as the pandemic forced people to stay at home and millions lost jobs. Worse, more than 2 million people lost their lives to the new coronavirus, and millions have been left with symptoms of long COVID. There is no guarantee that the pandemic could have been stopped, but preparedness would have certainly blunted its impact. In fact, for every dollar invested in preparedness, the world would have saved at least two dollars and potentially a lot more than that. The lesson also applies to tackling climate change. The more the world spends now on lowering emissions and adapting to warming, the less it will cost the world in damages in the future. Also in September 2019, the World Bank published a separate report that found spending $2 trillion on climate-friendly measures in this decade will bring immediate economic benefits of more than $7 trillion. If we don't do it, it was estimated that by 2050, the world could be losing as much as $8 trillion each year because of impacts of a warmer world. Both the pandemic and climate change put humans against fundamental laws of nature. Because we understand physics, chemistry, and biology so well, we are granted the advantage of foresight. Right now, however, we are squandering that advantage away. This is Net Zero. I am Akshat Rati. Follow us on QuickTake and Bloomberg.